Hello YouTube, we're working on the Tarago again today. We're going to be doing rear brakes. Today I'm using Bendex brakes. Last time I did this job I used Bosch. They didn't last very long. You're going to need some uh, dot three, dot four brake fluid and your brake pads. So I've already got the wheel off here. And I'm going to be pulling this caliper off to change these pads in here. So today I'm not doing the discs. The discs are really flat. They still feel really good. So on the back here, there's two 14 millimeter headed bolts. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to need a open end wrench there because it's just spinning that. Okay, so I got a wrench on the inside. Loosen that bolt up and take it out. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I might leave that bolt in for a little bit until that one's loose. Loosen that one up too. Now's a good time to check your shock absorbers, make sure there's no oil leaking. They're pretty good. Check your suspension. Check your rubber um, bushings. Take the caliper off. Do not let it hang from this hose or it will damage that hose. Okay, now I'm going to take these brake pads out. You can see how much is left. And this is the squeaking noise that you're going to be hearing is that little blade right there rubbing on the back of the disc. So every time you push the bricks in, it's going to hit that and it's going to make that squeaking noise. So I'm going to take my new pads. They're going to have one for the left side, one for the right side. They're both going to be the same. But you're going to have one with this blade on it that's going to make the squeaking sound when you get down low on your pads. That one's going to go in the back. So I put that back here. Put it in. And I'm going to take the front. And I can get, while I'm here, I can show you the difference in pad so you can see how much bigger the pad is when it's new I'm take this one I'm gonna put this one in here and just push it up against the disc like that now because there's so much extra pad there we're gonna to have to push this piston back in so make sure before you do that I'll come up front and I'll show you Come up front to the motor. Make sure this is at the low level because when you push that piston in, it's going to raise the level up here. You don't want this overflowing. So I'll go back and I'll push this piston in. So the right tool would be like something to go in there and separate. I don't have the right tool. Got some of these channel locks. And I'm going to push it in. You can see it going in? Yeah. Push it all the way in. That should be good. And now I'm going to put this back over the brakes. And if these don't move right here, these spindles, you should grease them up again. Remove them and grease them up. These ones we just greased up. So they're okay. Put your bolts back in.
And if you got a torque wrench, I would torque those to about 25 foot pounds. But I'm going to do it uh, just with this wrench. Always check and make sure it spins free. And not only that, before you go for a drive, pump the pedal. Pump the pedal up, and then we're gonna fill up that reservoir with the brake fluid. Okay, so I'll move all this stuff out of the way. This tire has a screw in it, right there. So this new tire needs to be fixed, but we're not gonna do that today. Torquing your wheel nuts, always go one, two, three, four, five. And then take a wrench and torque that to 80 foot pounds. After you're done with that, I'm going to put the wheel cover back on. Come back up here. And after you're done with both brakes, I fill it up to the high level. So after you'd filled it up to the high level, put the cap back on, pump up your brakes, check the level again. <laughs> 